This week, we visited the Danish Cone Factory located in Estes Park, Colorado. We went around 4.30 p.m. Saturday evening, and there were no other customers. Oh, what did you get? Mint chip and a white chocolate Oreo cone. I got the Mexican chocolate with a peanut butter cone. I got black raspberry and a black raspberry cone. Uh, this is the caramel java chip and an Oreo cone. Okay, um, I had the caramel java chip and the caramel was super high quality. Um, so like it didn't freeze in the ice cream. It was still kind of runny. Super good, great consistency. And the cone was great. Um, I'm gonna give it a 9.2 out of 10. But since the staff was so nice, I'm gonna give it a 9.5. Okay, Michael, what do you think? Um, I Man, it was awesome. Um, atmosphere is great. The like it's really understated. Vibe was nice. You know, just a bunch of cool dudes making ice cream, taffy things they love to do. <laughs> um, they uh, make their own cones. Uh, they make their own cones. They make their own ice cream. Cones are great. Ice cream was good. I got mint. And they use fresh mint. They didn't even say anything about fresh mint. So I didn't even know until I was eating it. It was really cool. Um, so it wasn't like overly sweet. It was a little floral and bitter tasting. I'm still eating it. Um, but yeah, easy, easy 10 out of 10. All right, what did you think, Charlie? It was amazing. I got black raspberry. It was yummy. The cone and the matching cone. They didn't necessarily taste the same. But it was a really good combination. And the building was really cool. Uh, they got like this thing where you got to watch it make the taffy and stuff. It was really, really cool. Um, I'm gonna say 10 out of 10. So what did you think of it? I had the Mexican chocolate and it was delicious. It had cinnamon and cayenne pepper in it. And it was one of the best tasting ice creams I think I've had so far. Um, it was really cold. It had ice crystals in it, but it wasn't like water ice crystals. It was like frozen cream. Um, so even that, that texture was, uh, it had taste to it. So it didn't just taste like ice. Um, the texture was great. The flavor was great. The cones were pretty fantastic. Uh, the right consistency, the right thickness. Um, everything about it, I think, was great. 10 out of 10. The total cost for four people was $32.59. One scoop was $5.49. The ice creams and cones we tried were all amazing. The scoops themselves were probably equivalent to two scoops at other establishments. The ice cream was very cold, creamy, and true to its name flavor. Each of the flavors tasted as if the ingredients were freshly picked or made and blended that day. It was some of the best ice creams we had the pleasure of tasting. Their cones, for another dollar or two, have just the right texture and thickness and complement the ice cream eating experience. The Danish Cone Factory is located on the main tourist road through Estes Park. It is surrounded by dozens of gifts, candies, and ice cream shops and restaurants. We went into at least four other creameries before finding this gem. There is no seating inside or out, and the shop shares its space with a taffy store. The Danish Cone Factory has a light Facebook presence and does not have any other website or socials. If you're in Colorado and enjoy ice cream, the Danish Cone Factory must be on your list of things to do. Three Scoop says, holy cow, that's good. Let us know in the comments about your favorite local ice cream spot, and if we can, we'll give it a visit. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and sticking with us to the end. We'll see you at the next scoop. Holy cow, that's good.